One of Reason's most interesting modules is the Neptune Pitch Corrector, and it's both an auto-tuning device and a voice synth, as we will see. The most common way to use it is as an insert on a track. So here we've uh, isolated a backing vocal, and what I'm going to do is click in its insert area and create a Neptune pitch adjuster. Here it is. Now I've got the vocal soloed up. It's actually a good take, um, so there's nothing that needs correcting at the moment, but you'll see how you can change the pitch of recorded monophonic audio using this module. So if we play it, what you will see is in the central area, you'll see Neptune detecting the pitch and initially trying to uh, sort of show us where the notes are. Superstar, superstar, superstar on the dance floor. You can see it's kind of wobbling about slightly. Um, that's because although the take is uh, in tune, it's n just there are little tiny swerves around kind of the note, which is a natural way to sing. Um, of course, what a, a what a pitch adjuster tries to do, if you let it, is make every note absolutely bang on, uh, which is not actually very natural sounding, hence the robot effect that you can end up with sometimes. So there are a couple of things to know about the uh, Neptune. The first one is these notes down here, these are the notes which are being used. So it helps to know what key your piece of music is in and what kind of scale it's using. There are several scales here. Chromatic is probably the most common because it uh, includes pretty much all the notes. If I switch to a major key, you can see we drop out some of the notes here. Natural minor, some of them come back, others disappear. And if a note is not lit, that means that Neptune will skip it, basically, and ignore that note when it's trying to correct. So it will either correct to the one to the left or to the right. So pitch correction is quite subjective and it's very dependent on the material that you're working with. In this case, you can see that these catch zone little markers here show how far either side of a note Neptune is going to look. And anything basically that falls within that catch zone will be processed and anything which falls without it won't be. So with a, a small catch zone, it's only going to try and correct notes that are pretty much exactly around the, the note they're supposed to be. If you raise it up, then it's going to try and correct a much wider frequency spectrum around each note. So if I was to knock out some of these notes, I could create a custom scale for myself. And I can actually create four of these per module and then automate between them. And that's an important thing to know about because it's very unlikely that if you create... Um, a pitch correction preset that works on a little bit of a take, let's say a uh, first line of a chorus, that might not work on the next line of that chorus because the notes m would be different. So it's very rare, if not unheard of, that you would just slap a pitch correction preset across an entire track. You almost certainly would never do that unless it was a robot effect. But if you're actually trying to pitch correct instead of synthesize, what you would probably do is create, you'd have to go around and set up little loops and then for each one, create an appropriate pitch correction setting in one of these four slots and then automate between them uh, using Reason's own automation system, which we've seen before. You could also, of course, just automate the bypass switch. So you could have it on for certain sections and bypassed when it's not needed, which is uh, another clever way of uh, using any effect in Reason, but especially something like this, which is very likely to need to be switched on and off at various different points. So next up, let's have a look at how to live transpose vocals. 